To write the formula for magnesium acetate, let's first write the symbol for magnesium. So magnesium on the periodic table, that's just Mg. And it's in group two on the periodic table, so it'll have a two plus ionic charge. For the acetate, when you see Ate, you're not gonna find that on the periodic table. So you've either memorized that the acetate ion is CH3COO minus, or if you're allowed, you could look it up on a table. So I'm gonna write in the acetate ion, that's CH3, COO minus. And note, sometimes the acetate ion, it's written as C2H3O2 minus. It's the same thing, just organized a little different. I like to write it this way, so let's use this in this video. So because magnesium is a metal and the acetate ion here is a group of nonmetals, we have an ionic compound. We have to make these charges here balanced. We have two plus and then the one minus here. So to do that, if we put parentheses around the acetate ion, we put a two out here, two times one minus, that's two minus. We have our two plus, they add up to zero. The net charge is zero. So this is the formula for magnesium acetate. Sometimes you'll see the magnesium written after those two acetate ions. That's because the acetate ion, it comes from acetic acid. And when acetic acid reacts, this hydrogen right here, that's what's involved in the chemical reaction. So you can kind of think of the magnesium replacing the hydrogen. So that's why you'll see it after the acetate ion sometimes. Either way is correct. I personally like it this way. This is Dr. B with the formula for magnesium acetate. Thanks for watching.